Hey everyone, it's Lee, aka Regicidal, and I'm here with the seventh episode of Let's Play RuneScape. Last episode, you learned how to train crafting, rune crafting, and dungeoneering, and today you'll be learning all of the areas around free to play in Gilinor. So log in and let's begin. As usual, we'll start off with our Squeal of Fortune spin, so let's hope we get lucky today. Click the button and see if the goblin will land on something good. We got one tin ore, so. That's not very good, we'll claim it anyway, but that is not very good. So anyway, let's get started. Alright, so when this Let's Play RuneScape series began, I should have done the areas around the third or fourth episode, but I decided to go right into skills, so now we're going to get into getting to all of the areas on RuneScape. So, obviously this is free to play, so there's only a limited amount of places you can go, but I'm going to show you how to get to every town from Lumbridge as a starting point, so that's what we're going to be doing today. First of all, they made a new update conveniently right now, that is a lodestone. As you see right here, there's a Lumbridge lodestone sitting right here in Lumbridge. And what it is actually the home teleport spell, which we used to use to get to the castle. Now, when you open the home teleport spell, there's areas for everywhere. So there's a lodestone in each of these towns, and you have to activate them in order to be able to tell you there. So now you can tell you to any town with the home teleport spell. But we're going to unlock all the lodestones as we go to each town today, so we can always return back there if we need to go there for a later use. So... First of all, we're in Lumbridge right now, so we're going to head to Draenor first, because that's pretty much the closest area besides Alcarid over there. So we're going to go to Draenor. So first off, we're going to go to Draenor, and we'll run there. It's directly west from Lumbridge Castle. You'll see it on the map right here. I'll put a picture of the route from Lumbridge Castle to Draenor. Now you see we're running behind Lumbridge Castle, which is pretty much the Lumbridge Swamp. This is in the Lumber Swamp area, but Lumber Swamp is south, so we're running the pathway here. There's a path all the way to Draenor. Should only take you about 70 of your run energy to get to Draenor, and uh, now we're here. We unlocked a new music track, Unknown Land, but we ran all the way from Lumbridge to Draenor. And we're going to go activate the Lodestone in here, so you always want to activate the Lodestones because that way you only have to go to the town once by running, and then you can just teleport there for any future use. So let's run up here to the Lodestone. This is officially Draenor Village. There's a few quests here. There's a marketplace, and there's also a bank. So let's click Activate Draenor Lodestone. So as you see, we're here. Draenor Lodestone is a bit north, right at the crossroads of Draenor. And there we go, task complete at a crossroads. So now we can teleport to Draenor whenever we feel like it. Next, we're going to home teleport back to Lumbridge. They also change the animation for this. You wobble around a little bit, and you uh, kind of float a little bit, and then you hover the book over you, and then you teleport. All right, so now we're at Lumberge Castle again. We're at the Lodestone, so this is where our starting point is. And now we're going to head to Alcarid. First, we're going to listen to a music tutor, so we can run longer. All right, now that we're all rest it up. We're going to run to Alcarid, or Alcarid. We're going to pay the toll of 10 GP. You also, instead of paying this toll, you can run around from Varrock, and you can enter from the top, and it's free, but it's also a very long stretch to run. It's easier to just pay the 10 GP, since you can get 10 GP from goblins or any other monster, so. Now we're going to run to the Lodestone in Alcarid. Now we're in here, and uh, this is where we were before for crafting, so you should know the area a little bit. And the lodestone's right outside of the Alcarid Castle. So we're going to activate this lodestone. So now we can teleport to Alcarid whenever we want. So there you go. This is an easy way now to not pay 10 GP to enter the town. You can literally just click the home teleport. And you can end up right here in Alcarid. So there you go. We're going to home tele back to Lumbridge and we're going to head to Varrock. Alright, now that we're back at Lumbridge Lodestone, we're going to run to Varrock. Now I took you there multiple times to go to the Grand Exchange. So you should know the way to get there, but if you don't, then pay attention. Once again, the route will be shown on a picture that will be on the screen right now. Right now I'm running the same route that we did uh, last time, running through the cow pen and chicken pen, and I'm going to the shorter path, not the longer path. The longer path would be going northeast right now and following the road, but if you just want to get to Valak quicker, you can just take the northwest path, which is this one right here. It's pretty much going off-roading, and we're, we'll end up at Varrock a little bit quicker. Now 
And the lodestone is just south of Varrock, so we don't have to run too far into the town of Varrock. And there we go, there's the lodestone right there. And we're going to activate it, so now we can just teleport to Varrock whenever we want to. We don't have to run here anymore from the Umbridge Castle. So there we go. Next, we're going to be heading to Falador. Now, I can't show you how to get there from Lumbridge, since it's a really, really far run. But, I will show you how to get there from Varrock. So, basically, to start off, you are going to go to the Lodestone of Varrock, and since you're already here, we can get to Falador very easy. Just run north into the Varrock middle, which I showed you one of the episodes. And then we're going to run west, past the Varrock west bank, and past the air runecrafting altar, which I showed you in the last episode. So we're going to keep following this path all the way through Barbarian Village, and then we'll be in Falador. So, let's run here. We're going to make a first stop at Edgeville, and then we'll go to Falador. Edgeville being right north of here, right north of Barbarian Village, which we'll be entering in just a second. So right now you're still in Varrock. And as you go west, you'll slowly enter a bridge with two guards guarding it right here. And then you'll be officially in Barbarian Village, no longer in Varrock. As you see, there's a Barbarian over here. And now we're officially in Barbarian Village. And we're going to go north of here to get to Edgeville. Now, Edgeville is just pretty much a bank and a general store. There's really nothing to do in Edgeville besides hop over the Wildy border and go PKing. But there really isn't much to do. There's two yew trees, a dungeon. Edgeville's really not a town you hang out in unless you're a member because it's just a close bank to a glory teleport. So Now we're officially in Edgeville since we crossed this little wall over here. You see some people cutting the two yew trees that are here. There's a Soul Wars portal for members. And now we're in Edgeville. So the lodestone's northwest of here. So we're going to Head northwest, here's the Edgeville Bank, and here's the Edgeville General Shop. And here we go, here's the Lodestone. Being attacked by a mugger. And there we go, activating the Lodestone. So now we have unlocked the Edgeville Lodestone, we don't have to come back here, we have the teleport in our home teleport log. And here we go. So now we're going to head back down south to Barbarian Village, and we're going to head to Falador, which is just west of Barbarian Village. Barbarian Village really isn't anything special. There's no bank in Barbarian Village. It's just a barbarians to train on, and there's also a stronghold of security, which is below Barbarian Village. There's also a bar and a pottery wheel. So nothing much to do in Barbarian Village. Right down there is the Stronghold of Security. Climb down entrance. And now we're on our way to Falador. As you see, we walked through Barbarian Village, and now we're on the road again to Falador. A little bit of run energy, but you just follow this pathway. Pretty much all of the towns are connected by a road, if not a road, by a mountain, because when you remember, Catherby is connected to Camelot by a mountain, White Wolf Mountain. But... Mainly all of the free-to-play places are all connected by a road, so you know where you're going, or you know you're on the right track. So that's how you know you're going the right way when you see a road. You'll at least end up at a town somewhere. So we're almost at Valador. We're going to run down these stairs, and the lodestone is right at the center before you enter in Valador. So we're approaching that now. Here's the little teaser for members that people like to see. You can see all the uh, armors and different kinds of people that there are. And here we go, here's the Lodestone in Falador. Here's the Falador, I guess you could say it's the like lobby before Falador, it connects Falador and Taverly together. But there we go, we unlock the Falador Lodestone. Taverly is up there, which is a member's area, so we're not going to go up there. But now we're officially in Falador, once we cross these walls, you see the Falador guard still wearing the classic armor, even after the graphical armor rework. And now we're officially in Falador, so there you go. Alright, so this is Falador, and we have one last stop, which is Port Sarim. It's just south of Falador. So we're going to run 
through the pathway, like it shows us right here. And we're going to run south once we hit the Falador East Bank. So here's the East Bank right here. And then you're going to run south at the road. You'll see a little wall over here, and you'll know you're going the right way because there's a pathway. And we're going to run past these guards over here. Don't worry, they're not aggressive. They will not attack you. And as you keep running south, now we're officially out of Falador. The clan camp is right over here, so if you're in a clan or you want to start a clan or you want to join a clan, you can hang out here in the clan area. And uh, there's a clan world, I believe, so you can hop on there and see if there's any clans that are recruiting. But right now we're crossing Fally Farm, we're crossing the clan camp, and just south of here is Port Sarim. And right west of that is Remington, but that town pretty much has nothing to do with anything and there's no lodestone there, so we really don't care about it. So we're going to head to the Port Sarim lodestone, which is just south of here. Port Sarim is mainly the dock town. There's docks to take you to Karamja and to other places. And there's a ring shop, a magic shop, a fishing shop. And here's Port Sarim. So there's the lodestone right there. And we're going to activate the Port Sarim lodestone. And there you go. We've activated every lodestone for free to play, RuneScape players. And that's all. So you've got to go to Lumbridge, to Draenor, to Alcarid to Varrock, to Barbarian Village, to Edgeville, to Falador, and then to Port Sarim. So you've been to every area in free-to-play RuneScape. And obviously you can go to Remington, which is just west, but there's no lodestone there, so right now we're okay. But that concludes this episode. So today you learned how to navigate your way across RuneScape. There was map details showing you each route we're taking to each town. We activated every lodestone within the town, so you learned where the lodestones were. And now you can enter any town you want by just tallying with the home teleport spell. In the next episode, you'll be learning how to make money, and that'll be the final episode of this Let's Play RuneScape series, and you'll be off on your own. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys on Saturday.